Hi friends, how are you? This is the Call Donut speaking, and welcome back to some more of the Breakfast Menu Build Server. Um, I've done a little bit of work on Nether Survival the Game V2. Uh, I've been in, uh, working on some of the structures here. You can see uh, it looks a little bit different. There's some new stuff, so I'm going to run through all of that first, and then we'll do a little bit of the work here. So we have these three sets of command blocks in the middle, and these two aren't lined up exactly because um, ridiculous person that I am, I made this arena an even number of blocks wide and long, um, so that was kind of dumb, uh, to put it lightly. Ooh, I just got some serious frame rate lag. So to put it lightly, yes, that was very dumb, um, but it's okay, actually. Uh, I'm just using 2 by 2 spaces uh, for various things. Uh, and so we have, like, these two trapezoids, basically, in the middle. Um, also, I made the lava moat in the middle, at minimum, in all places, six wide, uh, so that you can't actually cross to the other side. Um, and I feel like that's better, because then it's a, more of a nether survival challenge, rather than a nether kill the other team as fast as possible challenge. Uh, so there's that. Anyway. Uh, if we look over here, we've got, um, get one bow and three arrows, uh, get five bone meal, and spawn two blazes on the opposite side. And basically, these are power-ups, and so you're gonna run forward, and you're gonna click the button. And I'm pretty sure it's impossible just to shift up. Oh, wait. Uh, that might be just because of creative reach. Let me check. Game of S. Can I actually reach this in survival? Okay, I cannot reach that one. Um, I can, so I shouldn't be able to reach any of them actually, without jumping. I did not check this before. Yeah, but without creative mode extended reach, you can't get any of those buttons. Uh, but basically, what's going to happen is you jump into the lava and therefore die. Uh, but then you will end up pressing this button and doing something good for your team or bad for the other one. So you'll spawn two blazes. And those would spawn, like, right above this platform here, uh, and wreak havoc for the other team. Although, theoretically, they could come attack you as well. Uh, five bone meal is for growing trees, uh, which is a part of this game because, after all, it's another survival, so there's dirt and saplings. Uh, bow and arrow is the one way that you are able to uh, interact with the other team and attack them uh, directly. Uh, otherwise, you would be limited to the indirect blaze-based attacking. Um, anyway, so those are the central power-ups. I have not actually put in any commands yet. Uh, I was just setting up stuff uh, earlier today. Anyway, at the spawn for each side we have the rewards platform and the uh, blaze spawning platform, <laughs> uh, effectively. Um, but the bone meal is going to appear here. Uh, the bow and arrows are going to appear here. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to just make the oak sapling and uh, wood axe come into your inventory. But these two are coming to the platform because I'm thinking keep inventory will be off. Uh, and so therefore... Um, well, actually, hang on. I bet keep inventory is on right now on the server. Is that in the server settings? I can't remember. Uh, nope. So someone... I bet someone turned it on because I think I died at one point earlier and kept my stuff. I don't know. Don't remember for sure. Either way, it will likely be off for the minigame, uh, and therefore the rewards will spawn over there, so you can still get them. Uh, anyway, we have some dirt here. This is where you'll be planting your trees and everything when you get uh, the one oak sapling. And then you can also get infinite wood axes, um, but those will have an NBT tag that says they can only destroy uh, wood, and you'll be in adventure mode, so you can't go around breaking random things and stuff like that. Because uh, I want the map to be very easy to reset, uh, so that's the rationale there. Oops, I just flew over the side. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing with the map so far. I'm thinking it's going to be uh, two teams of a few players competing and whichever side gets to maybe 10 deaths first, uh, loses. And so probably about half of those are going to be wasted just getting these initial power-ups. Um, 
and so that's part of the strategy. Uh, I mean, there's an incentive to be as uh, conservative with your resources as possible, um, so that you don't have to waste so many deaths um, crossing. And also, same thing goes with arrows. Every shot is literally going to count, because if you have to jump back out there, it's another death for your team, and therefore, it's going to make it more likely that the other side will win. Now, one other thing that I've been thinking about that I may or may not do, I might set up a way for the teams to cross to the other side at some point uh, in the game, like when one side has a certain number of deaths. Um, whether that's uh, when the side that's losing um, hits a, num a certain number of deaths, the other team will get a bridge that goes one way, or if uh, it'll go both ways, or if um, the losing side gets the bridge that goes one way to try to help them get an edge. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead yet uh, for that mechanic, but I will definitely be using the clone command if I bring it in uh, as a feature, because it's just going to be the easiest way to do it, I figure, uh, aside from maybe set block. But anyway, let's get moving. So we need to set up some things today. Uh, also, I feel like it's always night on the server. Daylight cycle is off. I feel like people probably uh, set it to night at some point. I don't know um, why that is. Maybe it's for cinematic feel if they're doing PvP. I don't really care, though. I can always set it back when we're doing videos. Um, Alright, so. We need the coordinates here um, of this platform. So we're going to set it right here. So this is 1966.31. And so that's where rewards are going to spawn for this side. So, get five bone meal. Um, summon 196631. Was that it? Oh, I got it. Sweet. Okay. Slash summon. Um, wait, how does it go? Slash summon. Yeah, okay, so it's a thing first, not the coordinates. It's been a little while since I did this. Bone meal. Is that it? Is that, and then it's five? Is that right? Did that do it? No. Okay, so what was the error message? I'm curious. Invalid tag. Alright, well, let's just see if this works. Nope. Alright. Unable to summon objects. So, slash summon bone. Okay, can you not summon items? Item. Item. Oh, it's just item. Okay. So, it's item. That means it's probably type equals, right? No, not type. That's that's not what goes there. Item. I bet it's type. No, it's it's probably ID. Bone meal. Is that how it works? Bet it is. Oh. Unbalanced brackets. What? Oh, this has brackets too, doesn't it? It's like that, isn't it? Did it do it this time? Dang it! What screwed up? Unbalanced brackets again! Ah, oh, what did I screw up? Summon bone meal. Oh! That's a parenthesis! Whoops. There we go. That ought to do it. Well, it summoned something. Better than nothing. All right. Uh, slash give bone. All right. What's the ID? I should just look here. Die. Oh, it's die. Right. Okay. So die, and then it's fifteen. All right. So if I do it like this, what's it gonna do? What type does it give? Wait, why is why is it like crashing when I try to do that? It should be giving hmm. Shouldn't it be giving me die? That's not right. Weird. Okay. Uh, well, we'll come back to that one because I don't understand commands. Um More on that later. This I can do. 
Alright, two blazes on the opposite side. So, we should start with this command, because those coordinates are over here, right? Yeah. So we're going to start with this side. Um, so we're going to go summon, blaze... Oh wait, this is a double command thing, right? So I need, actually, I need two command blocks for this one. Summon, blaze, um, 19, 66... We'll go 35, and then Control A, Control C. Boom. Okay, so. Ah, uh, wait, what? All right. Oh, that was Z. Shoot, I messed with the Z coordinate. I'm an idiot. Hang on, 31. Let's go 70. That's it, right? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't change that one, did I? Nope. No, I did not. I'm great at this! If you haven't noticed. Alright, let's quickly set the difficulty to peaceful, and then set it back to normal. I think it's on normal. Might be on easy for all I know. Yep, okay. That's alright, so we set two of those up. Uh, let's go over here now. Oh wait, I don't have the coordinates for this side. Uh, this is... 186664 Boom. Okay. So we set that one already. We need to set this one. Summon blaze 18 um 7064 Copy that. Put it there. Wait, did it put two in? Yeah, they're right on top of each other. That's why. So if we do this, we'll see two. Great. Okay. Uh we might as well just get a sword out. So, we now have the blaze spawning set up, and so you can wreak havoc on the other side, but you'll suffer the penalty of losing one of your lives. Alright, so that's set up. Now, this one, I can't really do. This one, I'll have to look up how to do as well, so we're going to move on. Gosh, I spent a lot of time trying to do the die thing, that's really annoying. Okay, well... We'll fix those at some point. Right now we need to work on these two. Should be pretty simple to set up. We basically just need a command block on the other side. Uh, it's on this layer, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Right? Nope, it's the one above. It's that one. And it's also there. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Okay, so this one is the axe, right? Alright, so this needs to be... Give nearest player, and we'll set like radius of three to be safe. Um, so radius of three, and then it's wooden axe. Oops. I think it's can destroy, and then wood should be that. Wait, wrong, wrong thing. There we go. I used the wrong bracket there. Let's copy this, because we might be sticking it into the next uh, command block in a second. Do we get the axe? Nope. Alright. What did I screw up? Oh, is that not in range? Hang on. Let's come in range. Should have given us it. Can destroy wood is not a valid number. Alright, hang on guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look up the syntax. Okay, so guys, I tried copying in the exact text from the wiki. Uh, where I got the commands from. Uh, or the command from. And it still doesn't work. I don't know what I've done wrong. Um, I mean, unless you have to give... I mean, it says it's not a valid number. It's not looking for, like, a damage value or something, though, is it? Isn't that technically part of the NVT tags, too? Or can't it be? I don't know. It's confusing. Anyway, what I did do, um, in case you're face palming a lot right now, which you probably are, uh, let me make it up to you. I at least got the bone meal working. I mean, check this out. Uh... Let's go over here. Five bone meal. 
bam, works for the other side too. Bam, five bone meal. Um, I also got the bows and arrows working. Is this the right side? No, it's the wrong one. Uh, this one. Right, so if we go and press both of these, we get a couple of stacks of these here. We've got a bow and three arrows. I can pick up the arrows, but for some reason, though, the bows are glitching out or something, and I can't actually grab them. I don't know what's going on there, but I can't grab them. The command says it's uh, successfully summoning the object. Don't believe there's anything else I have to do. Hang on. Wait. Come over here. Yeah, I think that's correct syntax and everything, so... I don't get it, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess I could try like adding another tag just to see if it works, but we'll, we'll we'll try it. But I doubt that's right. I mean, I guess we can do like count one. That shouldn't affect it. It should still give me a glitched out bow, most likely. But I'll do that. Okay, sure. Sure, we'll do it. Give it a shot. <gasps> Yay! It was the command being troll like that. Okay. So apparently having the, an extra tag in there makes it work. I, I don't get it. But okay. We picked up the bows. This one is still a mystery. Hang on, wait. I thought I just got two there. That's weird. Did it let me pick up another one? Must have. Okay, well those are now working. We just fixed those on the fly. I have not done the saplings nor the wooden axes, uh, but we'll get those done later. Uh, might be an off-camera thing. Anyway, though, that is the general state of the map. We did a little bit of grunt work today, uh, working out commands. But, hey, uh, you got a better idea of what we're doing here with this map. Um... So, I hope you have enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. This has been the Call Donuts speaking. Goodbye, friends, and I will see you all next time with some more Breakfast Menu Build Server. <laughs>